everyone. My name is Hui Go and I'm a volunteer with the National Library Board Singapore. When I'm not volunteering, I write books, I'm an author, and I also work at the Media Consultants Singapore. Today, I have this. Little Godwit Finds His Wings by Emily Limley, illustrated by John Lim. And I just want to thank Emily for giving us permission to read this book. So, shall we begin? Little Godwit Finds His Wings. And I have a special first edition signed copy because I love books, I love picture books. And you can definitely find this book at the National Library. In the icy cold Arctic, one last egg sat alone, unhatched, left behind. Finally, one day, Little Godwit peered out and saw Owl. Have you seen my family? he asked. You're late, Owl said. Your family has flown far south by now. Oh no. Little Godwit looked up and saw the moon beaming at him. He fluttered his wings to fly. Stay, Owl said. I'll make you a hunter. Because owls hunt, right? Little Godwit hunted in his thin, feathery coat. He shivered in the cold wind. He's trying though, isn't he? He pounced on his prey, but he was off target. Without a hunter's eye, little Godwit caught only frostbite. So he tried, but he couldn't do it. I'm not made to hunt like an owl, he thought. Little Godwit wandered away and found a flock of cranes preparing to fly south. Can I follow you? he asked. Sure, if your tiny wings can keep up, the crane said. Little Godwit went flip, flap, flutter. Little Godwit flapped hard to follow the cranes. The cranes tied out from flying and landed next to a gleaming river. Little Godwit was charged with energy from the flight and wanted to go on. So he's like, come back, we're down here. The cranes are calling him down. Stay, the crane said, we'll make you a dancer. Little Godwit tried to spin and shake a leg. He bumped against a crane to the left and poked another to his right. Follow our footwork, the cranes trumpeted. Without an inborn dance rhythm, little Godwit bobbed out of step. I'm not made to dance like the cranes, he thought. Am I made to do anything well? Little Godwit hobbled straight into kingfishers, getting ready to fly further south. Can I follow you? he asked. Sure, hover along, the kingfisher said. Little Godwit flitted alongside the kingfishers. As he was about to zoom ahead, the kingfishers landed on a small island. Hey, where are you going? Because Little Godwit could go on and on. The, little, the kingfishers have landed somewhere. See if you recognize this. Stay, the kingfisher said. We'll make you a diver. It's cool, right? Little Godwit beat his wings hard to stay in position. He plunged in and crashed into a rock. Boing! Keep practicing, the kingfishers chorused. 
without a diver's body, little Godwit flopped on his belly every time. I cannot dive like the kingfishers, he thought. What on earth am I made to do? Little Godwit looked up and caught the moon beckoning to him. He fluttered his wings and took off. Where do you think he's going? Wow, look at the art. Little Godwit flew south, guided by the stars at night and the sun in the day. He steered where tailwinds blew him along. Little Godwit flew non-stop for days. He grew lighter and mounted higher. I wonder if I can reach the moon, he mused. After gliding over a long stretch of sea, Little Godwit searched for a landing spot. He wheeled around in the air and spied a nearby coast. He flew nearer and saw that it was dotted with birds. So he called up. The ground stayed silent. Should I stay? Little Godwit wondered aloud as he circled above. Should he stay? What do you think? Then the birds answered in chorus. Flip, flap, dip. Little Godwit swooped down for a closer look. Godwits covered the entire coast. Little Godwit's heart soared as he landed. You're late, son, an old Godwit said. I'm glad you found your wings to get here. So am I, little Godwit said. Do you always fly here? Yes, I've flown non-stop from the Arctic to this land of the Kiwis every year of my life, the old Godwit replied. Do you think all this flying will get me to the moon? Do you think? I believe so, little Godwit said with wide-eyed wonder. We are made to fly as far as the moon. Thank you for coming through this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep reading, okay? And I'll see you real soon. Little Godwit Finds His Wings by Emily Limley, illustrated by John Lim. See you.